tutorial on setting up an assembly item in ESC. Before you get started, you should already have a stock or serial item created. If you need to know how to create these types of items, please refer to the ESC stock item and serial item setup videos. Setting up an assembly item can be useful if you need to build and track item kits. For example, you may want to create an assembly item that is made up of multiple stock and serialized items. Assembly items are also commonly used for flat rate pricing, which will be covered in another video tutorial. Once you have your stock or serial items set up, creating a basic assembly item is simple. First, you need to access the inventory entry screen from the inventory menu. You will need to enter your part number and a general description for your item. The key to creating an assembly is to make sure you select Assembly from your Part Type drop-down menu. After you select Assembly, you will notice the Assembly tab is automatically selected. Within this tab, you will need to add separate stock or serialized items to the Part column. Next, you will enter the quantities for these items in the Quantity column. You will need to repeat this process until you have all of the individual items and corresponding quantities entered accurately. You can also add billing codes to your assembly, just like you add other items. This comes in handy if you want to incorporate other fees that are not materials, such as permit fees. Remember to select the General tab and choose the appropriate category and subcategory for this item. Your cost fields will reflect the total cost of all of the individual items that make up your assembly. Now, you can either select the appropriate markup code for your assembly or enter prices in as A, B, and C manually. If necessary, you may fill in or make changes to the Post to Equipment and Post to History fields and the Account fields. When you are finished, simply click the Save button and you are done. This concludes our tutorial on setting up assembly items.